So this is going to be part two of the interval uh, server rack battery review. Basically, I'm going to go ahead and test out if this thing will communicate with the 12,000 XP or EG4 inverter behind me. And it has all the different protocols for a lot of different inverters to communicate. I know the last video, I was just trying to communicate this battery to one of the EG4 batteries. You know, that didn't work. I tried a couple of different protocols, but that stuff's really just built to communicate with the inverter, not other battery brands and all that. But, you know, I just want to see if it would happen to work and it didn't. So what we're going to do is, well, I'm going to tell you what all the different protocols are for this battery and what inverters it'll work with. And then I'm gonna try to can communication directly to the inverter to see if that works. All right, as you can see right there, we got the uh, all the pack information that's gonna be on the front. And you know, if you wanna just see the pack info, you can go right to that, but we're gonna go to pack set because we wanna be able to set the communication for the comms ports for the can cable here. So let's go ahead and go enter. And then we'll go to next and can bus. So as you can see, it's got a uh, Lux power. If we can get a little closer. Die so far. I don't know what that is. Gen long. I don't know. SMA must. You know, it's got a bunch of different ones. But it's gonna have, as you can see, Pylon, Victron, you know, Grow Watt, you know, a lot of different ones. And of course, we're gonna put it back to the Lux power. Go ahead and press enter and it says set on. And then we should be good to go. You can see what everything is right now. Then we can go down to capacity. So go to next, next, and go to capacity. Right now it's at 30%. And let's go ahead and look on the inverter real quick. All right. As you can see on the inverter over here, it's showing 34% because that's coming from the EG4 battery. And what I'm going to do is quickly unplug it and then plug this one in and see if this 34% changes. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and right here as you can see the battery communications is hooked up and then I got the can port over here come off the interval battery and all I'm going to do is switch them out really quick so the inverter doesn't turn off bam switched out quickly all right now let's go right on the inverter as you see I got the green cable hooked up that's coming from the interval battery and now look what we got 30%. So it's working. The state of charge is showing. The communications is working. So EG4 inverters work. So bam, there you have it. Real quick video. The uh, interval battery will communicate with the EG4. And, you know, that's pretty awesome. So if you want to get, you know, one EG4 inverter and one of these really cheap batteries, you know, you can do that. $770, you know, you really can't beat it. But like I said, again, now customer service and all that, that's going to be up. something you have to see over time. I mean, it's a new company, so you just have to roll with it. And if that's something you want to do and you really want to save some money, you know, you just have to try your luck. If you want something that's more of a value brand, you know, you have to look into a company, maybe with a more long-term uh, reputation at this point. There's just a lot of lithium batteries. Those prices are dropping, dropping, dropping. And this one for the price point, you know, it's pretty good. You know, you got your building breaker. Got your built-in BMS switch. You know, you've got all your communications, you know, your parallel communications for other interval batteries. You got your PC connection to RS-232. Uh, you got the CAN and the RS-485 for inverter communication. You got your built-in display. I mean, you got your quick connects, you know, so I definitely like that. It comes with all the cables and all that stuff. If you didn't see part one, you know, hey, I'll link that up above. You can go see part one of the review and see kind of everything that comes with it and me just talking about it and what kind of power it pulled and all that. And I know it's part two, I said I was gonna do the DC side, but I got this hooked up to my system running and I still hadn't did that. So I'm gonna have to do that at some point and do the discharge on the, on the DC side and just get it with a shunt to see what the amp hours actually is. But like I said, got like 4.5 kilowatts out on the AC side through an inverter added as a battery. So that's, that's pretty good in my opinion. And if you're trying to get your questions answered and you're into DIY solar, you know, we have an unplugged live stream, me, Adam DeLay, and Eric from East Texas Homestead. And we're taking that. We were going from each of our channels every week, just kind of switching out, doing a live stream every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But what we're going to be doing from now on is we started a new channel that's just for the unplugged live stream. And we're just going to all stream it from that channel. You know, and that'll be starting like the beginning of the August. So we might have like one more uh, episode that's going to be on somebody's regular channel. 
And then after that, it's going to be on the unplugged channel only. So, hey, I'll leave a link to that below. You can go ahead and subscribe. So if you got any questions or anything, you can come and ask your questions every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And remember, if you like this kind of video, think about hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, and thanks for watching.